We always, always, always begin with gratitude. So I want to thank you for being here and for doing whatever it is you needed to do to show up here. I'm so honored to have your energy and your presence in this space. And I hope that you're allowing yourself the space to be however you are in this moment. I'm LA and I'm a licensed clinical social worker, a holistic wellness therapeneur, and the creator of this channel, Reconnect With You. I want to extend a warm welcome and a hug to you if you are new here and if you're returning, welcome back. If my vibe and energy or any of the contents of this channel resonate with you, please remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I will be posting videos on the first and third Sunday of every month at 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for hashtag Solitude Sunday to send y'all some good vibes to start off the week. This channel has a primary focus on wellness and will include sound baths, affirmations, and tips for different aspects of wellness. In short talks focused on you and your relationship with yourself, which is the foundation for all of your other relationships and aspects of your life. So, are you ready to reconnect with you? If so, come on in and get comfortable, whatever getting comfortable looks and feels like for you. With Father's Day coming up, I wanted to do a video to accompany the video that I did for Mother's Day to share with y'all how I spend Father's Day to give you some ideas for activities that you might do on that day. This video is especially for anyone who might struggle on Father's Day for reasons, including but not limited to having a strained relationship with your father, having a father who has passed away, and not knowing who your father is. Today, I want to share with y'all seven ways that I spend Father's Day. The first activity I want to share is release. Some things I've done on Father's Day to give myself a release include crying, I've written poems before on Father's Day. Another way to release is to create something. The second activity that I want to share is that it's been really important for me on that day to acknowledge my feelings. Some of these feelings could be anger, confusion, sadness, and sometimes feeling indifferent, but it's been really important to me on that day to acknowledge whatever it is I might be feeling and to hold space for those feelings. If you are liking this video so far, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. The third activity that I want to share with y'all is reflection. On Father's Day, it's really important to me to sit with myself and think about what does my relationship with my father mean to me? What has it meant to me? How has it benefited me? So I'll give you one example, and this is a real life example. My father taught me how to drive when I was nine, <laughs> and that was very meaningful to me. I, I'll never forget we were uh, in the parking lot at a department store in Milwaukee, which is my hometown. So that is one of the fond memories that I have of my father. And so that is one of the many memories that might come to mind for me that I might reflect on on that day. The fourth activity that I want to share with y'all is to connect with your inner child. I'm going to include the link below in the description box to the healing and connecting with your inner child challenge that I created. Doing an activity to help me connect with my inner child is something that I've done before. So this might include coloring, watching cartoons, building a fort. These are some of the many activities that are in my challenge. The fifth activity that I want to share with y'all is to show yourself some love, especially if this is a day that you particularly struggle with. Do something nice for yourself. I remember a Father's Day in particular when I woke up that morning, I made breakfast for myself. I had also gone to the store, I think it was the day prior, and I bought some roses for myself. And that felt really good for me. This is an opportunity for you to also just practice self-love and show yourself some love in any way that you feel you might need on that day. The sixth activity that I want to share with y'all is to express gratitude. I share something similar in the video that I did for Mother's Day, but if you struggle with Father's Day, that day is also an opportunity for you to express gratitude to some father figures that you might have in your life that you do have a positive relationship with and that are present in your life. That might be a day where you reach out to them and thank them for who they've been to you. The seventh and last activity that I want to share with y'all is rest. If the day comes and you are just not feeling up to doing anything or you may not have the energy to do anything, 
that's okay too. I think it's important that you do give yourself time to rest. Again, if you don't have the energy or the desire to do anything, I do think it's important that you honor that and honor yourself on that day and remind yourself that resting is an okay way to spend the day too. If you are new here, I end each and every video with a prompt for journaling a reflection just because I want all of my viewers to walk away from this video with something to think about. A prompt for journaling a reflection for today's video is, what do you think you might need on Father's Day? What are some steps that you can take now to plan to get what you need for yourself? Well, that is what I have for y'all for today. I look forward to connecting with y'all again soon, but in the meantime, reconnect with you. Namaste.